beautiful worship song and it's called I Love You Lord and um, the words go I love you Lord and I lift my voice to worship you all my soul rejoice take joy my king in what you hear and let it be a sweet sweet sound in your ear dear Canemans Heavenly Father thank you for your love, the love that you have towards us. We thank you that when we come to you in worship and we give you a song from the melody of our hearts, when we lift up our voice in worship to you, that we are able to take a moment just to take you in. We're able to appreciate the moment of being in worship with you where our hearts our minds our hearts and our souls just rejoice it rejoices in your presence in your being rejoices in all that you have done for us we're thankful that you are our king and in that we find joy we are comforted by the fact knowing that the one who has made everything desires to have a relationship with us the one who created the heavens and the earth has done everything in his power to restore having a meaningful relationship with us and we thank you that we can take joy in that we're thankful that we are able to live our lives knowing that you hold our future and as another songwriter says and life is worth the living just because he lives and we're thankful that we serve a god who lives we serve a god who is able to hear our petitions who is able to know our heart we're thankful that we can call on you that when everything else and everyone else may not be dependable then we know that we can depend on you we know that we can be rest assured in the fact that you reign sovereign we thank you for your word for in it we find the roadmap on how to live our lives. It gives us encouragement. It allows us to see all that has been put in place in order for us to have a relationship with you. We ask that as we continue to present our lives as living sacrifices to you, that we will be pleasing to you. That as we sing songs of praise, that even if for some of us we may sound off key, but dear Lord, I'm thankful that you see beyond the sound of our voice and you look at our hearts and we just hope that it will be pleasing to you that you will be able to see our earnest desire is really to worship you may you help us to be able to put aside the things that are prohibiting us from having that close relationship with you for the things that are distracting us from what you have told us to do may you help us to keep our focus on you that you will help us to see you in our situations that you will allow us to read your word and have it change our lives we thank you for the way that your word transforms us we're thankful that the change that we have in you is something that we can continually 
place in your hands knowing that you will allow us to grow even more so in your likeness as we continue to do your will we ask that you will help us to trust you with every fiber of our being that you will help us not to lean on our own understanding but in every single aspect of our lives that we will acknowledge you allowing you to give us direction that sometimes the things that we may deem wise or not wise please open our eyes to these things and help us to fear you help us to depart from evil and to cling to you our righteous king we thank you that with your love comes mercy we thank you for your grace we thank you for giving us strength from day to day we're thankful that we can call on you wherever we are that you are able to hear us we thank you for the multiple prayers that we have prayed and we have seen and heard your answer we're thankful for the way that you have used us to show your love to others we're thankful for the way that you have allowed us to be transformed by receiving your son by believing in him we're thankful for the many promises that we find in your word that you will comfort us we're thankful that your word tells us that as we go through situations that you will be there with us we're thankful that in your word we know that you know our hearts we're thankful that you know us and in knowing us you still want a relationship with us and I ask that you will help us to continue to have repentant hearts that we will not allow anything to take us away from the relationship that you desire with us um before the room started and I was on my way from work I was just looking back at how good God has been and just being able to thank him that even though everything in my life isn't perfect that I even amidst the tiredness even amidst the, the various demands I do have his joy I do have his peace and I thank God because years ago I probably didn't think that I would be in the position that I am in now and I'm not sure if I should share this testimony before but I think I have on this platform that there was one point where I wasn't um investing in my relationship with God I wasn't going to church. I wasn't um doing the things that a Christian should do. And my grandmother would constantly pray. And I remember even before she passed away, one of the things that she said to me is Montana, please go back to church and return to God. And it would take probably a year and a half after her death for her prayer to actually be answered i remember in the beginning i used to wonder if when she prayed that prayer and as she saw me become a person who didn't want anything to do with church if that made her even more persistent in her prayers 
because at one point she would stop saying things to me like are you gonna join me in church this weekend or if there was a function going on she would stop inviting me but I do believe that she still continued to pray and even though she wasn't able to see it physically I don't know if the Lord allowed her to know that I would return to him I don't know if she just had enough trust in God to say okay I know you can answer prayers and you don't force anyone to worship you but please help her to have a personal relationship with you please help her to to accept you as Lord in her life and I'm grateful for the the prayers that she has prayed over my life that even now I'm able to reap the benefits of those prayers and I'm thankful that I am in the position as well where I am now praying for our other family members who some have already had a relationship with God and have turned away and others haven't had that relationship yet but I'm thankful that I can see how God has changed me and it literally has nothing to do with how good I am or anything like that but it just has to do with his love to the fact that regardless of what I've done in my past or even some of the things that I have said that sometimes when God brings it back to my memory I ask for forgiveness again just in case I didn't before and I'm thankful to know that the way that I used to behave that God was able to to still love me that he still able he was still able to to have a future for me that would exceed what I could think that he was able to restore that relationship that I have with him so dear Lord I I lift up every single person who is able to hear my voice I lift up their families and we come together and we pray for our family members, our friends, and I'll even extend it to our enemies, dear Lord, that they'll be able to know you, that they'll be able to see past their pain, that they'll be able to see past the hurt, that they'll be able to see past all the times that you were misrepresented, where your word was misquoted, where your word was taken out of context and they'll be able to see you they will be able to feel your presence they'll be able to hear John 3 16 for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life that they'll be able to tap into your everlasting life that they'll be able to receive your Holy Spirit, that he will be able to dwell in them and make that change that only you can facilitate, that whatever addictions they may have, that they'll be able to overcome those addictions because of you, that whatever thoughts they have of themselves that do not align with your word, that they'll be able to feast on your word and see what your word says over their lives and they'll be able to decree and declare your word for each time that the devil will tell them that they cannot be loved that a sin that they have committed will not be forgiven then may they know your word to know that you love them may they be able to see from Genesis the revelation the love that you have towards them and everything that you have done in order to allow them to have a relationship with you may you be able to show them that you are greater than any problem 
that they can have, that they'll be able to find their strength in you. That even in worshipping you, there will be trials, there will be challenges. But with you, we'll be able to overcome. That with you, we'll be able to see past our situation and be able to glorify you in them. That as you refine us, we will come out like pure gold. That as you allow us to see our brothers and our sisters, as you see them, then we're able to pray for them. As you allow us to meet the needs of others, then we're able to give you the glory. That as we're able to see our lives being shaped in you, then we are able to give you the praise. Knowing as the song says, because you are worthy of all praise. We give you the glory. We give you the highest praise possible. And we shout Hosanna from the top of our hearts, dear Lord. And we proclaim your goodness. May you help us to always see you. May you help us to continue to pray fervently for our loved ones. For those who have left your fold, dear Lord, we ask that you will help them to return. And we thank you that even when they shall return, that you will be able to use them. That they'll be able to have a testimony that they'll be able to share. We're thankful that even as some of us may be distracted by sin, that you are able to reach us and you are able to allow us to have repentant hearts to return unto you. We're thankful that there is nothing that the devil can do that will be able to keep us away from you that we will continually seek you that we will present ourselves to you daily and as you show us the things that are unlike you as you help us to become more like you we thank you we thank you for the way that you allow our lives to be transformed where you allow your love and your word to have the final say. May we never become deceived thinking that we can hold on to a little bit of sin. And as a quote says, sin will take you farther than you want to go, keep you longer than you want to stay and cost you more than you want to pay. Help us to realize the the cost of staying in our sin. Help us to realize the cost of denying and being disobedient to the prompting of your Holy Spirit. Please help us to to face the truth in our lives. And for the hard truths, dear Lord, help us to present them to you. For some of us, there's times where we may feel broken because of the situations around us. We're thankful that during that time as we continue to spend time in your presence then you are able to build us up and help us to be assured that for some things in our life we need to say enough 
enough now? How long will we continue in that sin? How long will we continue allowing something that someone said in our childhood to determine our future now? How long will it take for us to sing praises to you? How long will it take for us to submit ourselves completely and fully to you? How long will it take for us to to let go of anything that is unlike you? And to trust you in what you say. When we will be able to see your goodness in our bad situation. How long will it take for us to realize your intention for us? Dear Lord, I ask that you will help us to be mindful of our time, knowing that tomorrow isn't promised. And sometimes we put off things for tomorrow, of things that you are saying that we need to take action now, help us to do so. For those tasks that seem impossible, we're thankful that with you, they are possible. Please help us to be obedient to you. For what will happen if the task that you have given us, you give to another? What will happen if that one time that we are disobedient to you, then we are forever lost. What happens if we continue in our sin? So dear Lord, help us to ask those questions that allow us to think about the choices that we are making. Help us to take reflective look at our lives. and asking you to to show us yourself in our situation. That we will be able to not be Christians just by the mere word, but people will be able to see by the words that we speak, by our actions, that we are Christ followers, that we follow you. That they'll be able to see that we are different because we are set apart and we are holy. That they'll be able to see your love through our actions. That for those who we encounter daily, that they'll be able to feel better after leaving us. Not because of us, of ourselves, but because of the God that we serve, that you will help us to be patient and kind with others. That even when we are frustrated, that we will still be kind to our neighbor. that you will help us to be servant leaders. And we pray for those who you have allowed to rule countries, dear Lord. We ask that you will speak to their hearts now, that you will help them to turn away from their corrupt ways and they will start leading their nation. from a place of love 
that you will be able to step in and intervene in their lives, that they'll be able to worship you. They will have the privilege of knowing you. That you will allow even them receiving you to be a testimony for the countries that they serve and it will bring people to you. We pray for those who you have allowed to be appointed in various government positions that are Christians, dear Lord, we pray that you will continue to allow them to stand firm in their beliefs in you and not become a part of a corrupt system. But you will allow them to let their light shine in their situation that others will be able to see you and glorify you that you will be with those who are translating your word in various languages that you will allow them to do so with precision and accuracy that for those who may be tempted to do stuff according to what they think that you will allow your wisdom to prevail and that they will be obedient to you we ask that you will continue to strengthen them that you will continue to allow them to translate your word and we pray for all those who are in leadership positions in your churches around the world whether it be a small number or a great number we ask that you will be the head we ask that you will provide your wisdom to them your knowledge your understanding that you will help them to lead your people that even as they lead your people, that their relationship with you will continue to grow, that they will depend on you for restoration, that they will depend on you to be their provider, that they will not be distracted by the things of this world, that for whatever you have given them, then they will be good stewards, that you will help lead us currently and those to come to be good examples of a leader that you will help them to balance their various relationships that the younger ones in their families that they are trusted to govern will be able to feel their love will be able to feel their presence that you will help them to build a good relationship with you and we pray for each child teenager And we ask that you will help them to find their worth in you. That they will not be distracted by social media. That they will not allow the world to tell them where their worth lies. That they will see that they are much more than a luxury handbag. Then they are, they're worth much more than any possession, earthly possession, that they could ever have. That they'll be able to see how much you love them. That they'll be able to see having a relationship with you is wonderful. That the things of this world are temporal, so help them to cast their eyes on eternal things, to cast their eyes on you. Please help their parents to nurture them, give them the wisdom to train each child.
and help them to raise their children from a place of healing and not a place of hurt. And dear Lord, I thank you for each person who is praying for a specific need, a want, a desire, and they are giving you full control. Please open our eyes to, and our ears and our hearts to what it is that you require of us during this time in our lives. Help us to be willing to give a testimony. Help us to be willing to give a praise report. And help us to, to sacrifice whatever it is that you need of us, whether it's more time. Whatever it is, then help us to, to do so willingly. And help us to continue to lift each other up in prayer. Help us to continue to decide that we will do. And help us to always, always value our relationship with you. May we always make time to be in your presence. And may the praises that we give you be pleasing to you. May you see us and may we bring a smile to your face. We ask that you will continue to have your way in our lives. Continue to minister to our hearts and provide all our needs. We're thankful that you are greater bigger and better than anything that we can think or imagine. We thank you for being a God that we are able to worship, just truly come to you and worship you. Help us to continue to worship you in spirit and in truth and to rely on you. May we be obedient. May you help us to set aside everything that is unlike you. And as we continue, may you continue to stir up our hearts. As we continue on this pilgrim journey, may we keep our eyes on you. knowing that the devil is defeated and we are conquerors in you, we are overcoming. We thank you for being Lord of our lives and being our saviour. For Christ's sake, amen. Hallelujah. Here we are. Here we are. Here we are, God. Here we are, Lord, to worship you, to worship you. Here we are, Lord. Here we are. Here we are to worship you. Here we are, God. We worship you, Lord, and we are you. We give you glory, we give you honor, O oh God, we give you worship, O oh God. Worship from our heart, O oh God. Worship from our spirit, O oh God. So we pray, Lord, that you would inhabit our praises, O oh God. We pray, Lord, that you would begin to move in this place, O oh God that you would move on circumstances and situations, oh God, even as we pray, oh God, even as my sister would pray, oh God, I thank you, Lord, 
that the angels, they ascend and they descend upon us, oh God, in this room, oh God. We open up the portal of prayer, oh God, and we thank you, Lord, there's no hindrances, oh God. We thank you, Lord, that you shall be able to arise. You shall be able to come in as a mighty rushing wind. You shall be able to shift and change and renew, oh God, in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, for the blood. And we come in by way of the blood. We plead the blood of Jesus over each and every person, oh God, in this room, Lord. We plead the blood over our family, over our circumstances, over our businesses that we are conducting daily, oh God, over contracts, oh God, over negotiations, oh God. In the name of you, we plead the blood over our children, Lord, over marriage contracts, oh God, remo so co over marriage contracts that are coming about, oh God, in this season and even in this time, oh God, even those who will prepare themselves, oh God, for marriage, we plead the blood of Jesus over those contracts. And Father, we thank you, Lord, for every binding marriage contract, oh God. We thank you, Lord, that everything that would bind us together by your word, oh God, so we hide your word in our hearts, Lord, that we may not sin against you. But Father, I thank you, Lord where contracts are being breached, oh God, and negotiations have been stopped, Lord. We pray, Lord, that you would do a turnaround, a reversal in the name of Jesus. You would mend every broken contract, oh God. You would mend every heart, oh God, that would want to turn away, oh God, from their vows, from their marriage in the name of Jesus, from their vow for the contract, oh God, from their vow from the negotiation, oh God. We pray, Lord, from every job, oh God, offer that we had on the table and in the spirit is a reneging or a turning away. We thank you, Lord, for favor, oh God, and we thank you that it shall connect in the name of Jesus, for you, oh God, have shut the door that needed to be shut in the name of Jesus. And we thank you, Lord, for every door of opportunity, oh God. We thank you for the door of possibility, but we know, oh God, that you're an accurate and you're a precise, Lord. And so you would lead us and guide us, O oh God, into the truth, into the right direction. In the name of Jesus, we come against every spirit, O oh God, that would keep us double-minded, keep us between two opinions, O oh God. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord, for we are no longer lukewarm, neither are we cold. But Father, we thank you, for you have ignited us, O oh God. And in our bones, it's like fire, O oh God, shut up in them, O oh God. So we are hot for you, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you, Lord, that you would send your fire, O oh God, in our home, in this place, O oh God, in our ministries, Lord, in our workplaces, Lord, and this consuming fire, that it would burn away the chaff, it would burn away everything that is undesirable, that it would burn away the old man, the old way of thinking, O oh God, the ungodly ways, in the name of Jesus, every unclean and every defiled thing, oh God, I thank you for a burning in the name of Jesus, but I thank you, Lord, that you shall purify us and that we will be tried in the fire in the name of Jesus and that we will come as, out as pure gold, even as refined silver in the name of Jesus. So I thank you, Lord, with long suffering, with patience, oh God, with endurance, oh God, shall we be able to run this race in the name of Jesus? For surely, clearly, we shall wait upon the Lord. And as we wait upon you, God, as we wait, O oh God, in the midst of us waiting, Lord, you shall supernaturally begin to restore us. You shall renew us, even as the eagle's wings, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. We would run and not get weary. We would walk, O oh God, in your righteousness and in your way and not be tired of it, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. So I thank you, Lord, that you will renew, you will refresh an appetite and a desire and an earnest pleasure, oh God, to stay in your presence, to get in your glory, to pray daily in the name of Jesus, day after day, oh God, even week after week, oh God, even month after month, oh God, even year after year, forever and ever, oh God. I pray, Lord, that you will light an eternal forever and ever fire, oh God, for intercession, oh God for prayer, O oh God, for worship, for getting in your presence, O oh God. So Father, as we go into the deep, for deep calls unto deep, O oh God, as we go deeper and deeper into the waters, O oh God, we walk upon your word, O oh God. We look unto you, O oh God, who is the author and the finisher of our faith, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. So we thank you, Lord, 
that we are no longer bound nor in captivity, O God. We thank you, Lord, that we are not in distress, even if we are cast down, even if the storm would rage, O God. We know that our deliverer, our redeemer, you live. So we thank you, Lord, for deliverance in the name of Jesus. For you said in your word that many are the afflictions of the righteous, but, O Lord, our Father, you deliver us out of them all. So we believe, O God, that you shall deliver us. You shall uphold us in your right hand in the name of Jesus. And we choose, Lord, not to dash our foot against the stone. We choose, Father, to ask you to help us, O God. For we need your help, O God. We confess, for we are mere men and women of flesh, O God. For we sin, we offend, we make wrong decisions, O God. We make wrong turns. But we thank you, Lord, that in the daily repentance, in the daily confession, O God, and the daily cry out, oh God, of how we need your help. We thank you for your assistance. We thank you, Lord, that as we look to the hills where our help would come from, that surely our help comes in the name of Jesus. So, Father, we thank you for divine strategy, solution, divine connections, divine appointments. We thank you for the angels that encamp around us. We release ministering angels, warring angels, healing angels angels to aid and assist, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. We release angels unto our family, O oh God, to aid and assist them, O oh God. Angels in our community, Lord, in our neighborhoods, in our nation, O oh God, in the name of Jesus, to bring forth your will and your intent. But it is clear that you said this to us in your word, Lord, that the angels, they hearken unto the voice of the Lord. So Father, put your voice on our voice. Put your word in our mouth, O oh God. Give us the utterance, O oh God, to speak the right word at the right time, O oh God, that the angels may move upon your word, upon your voice, that they may be able to ascend and descend, O oh God, that they may be able, O oh God, to work together, that your will would be done as it is in heaven, O oh God. So shall it be in the earth in the name of Jesus. Help us, Lord, to arise and declare the decree in the name of Jesus. Help us, O oh God, when we see things are wrong, O oh God, to begin to speak, to begin to pray into your will, into that situation, O oh God. For we know that you are a will in the middle of the will. So, Father, we thank you for our apostolic and a prophetic anointing, O oh God. We thank you, Lord, that the gifts of the Spirit, they work and they flow in us. We thank you, Lord, because you have given us power and dunamis power upon how that we may do great exploits, O oh God, even the power to be witnesses unto our area and even unto the uttermost ends of the earth, O oh God. You have given us power, O oh God, to get wealth, even what you swore unto our ancestors, even our father, Abraham. So we thank you, Lord, for all of this goodness and all of this mercy, Lord, that would follow after us, O oh God, that would stalk after us, that would counsel out every ungodly and every unclean thing in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for your favor. You have rested your hand upon each and every one of us, O oh God, and you have anointed us, Lord, that our cup would run over, that an overflow shall happen in our life in the name of purify us in the name of Jesus. Set us free, O oh God, from every captivity of thoughts. In the name of Jesus, we bind every spirit of deception and confusion, O oh God. We bind every spirit, O oh God, that will cause us to think a thing that is not true, O oh God. Every lying spirit in the name of Jesus, every spirit of persuasion, Lord, we bind it and we pull it down out of the atmosphere in the name of Jesus. We pull down principalities and powers, even rulers of darkness, O oh God. For we know our wrestle is not against flesh and blood. So we bless those, O oh God, in the kingdom. We bless our family, Lord. We bless our enemies, O oh God, who would try to pursue after us, O oh God. Have mercy upon them in the name of We bless those who have used us unrighteously, O oh God. Have mercy, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Cause them to come into a quick alignment and repentance unto you, O oh God, in the name of Jesus, that they may be in right standing that their cups may be filled, that they may overflow, that they may enter into seasons of refreshing, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. For surely, O oh God, you have given us a season of refreshing. We shall dwell in the shadow of the Almighty. We shall dwell 
and habitate, O oh God, in your pavilion in the name of Jesus, O oh God, for you have caused us to be a habitation, O oh God, of your spirit, Lord. We are honored in the name of Jesus, for where you shall find us is in your temple. So we thank you, Lord, that we are the temples of the Most High. And as we come bearing all, O oh God, as we come laying down heavy burdens, as we come laying down our own thoughts and opinions and ideas, and as we present our bodies, even as a living sacrifice, O oh God, holy and acceptable unto you, O oh God, it is our reasonable service and it is our duty, O oh God. So this we do daily, Lord, with diligence, with fervency, O oh God, with seriousness, O oh God. And we thank you, Lord, that you shall use these temples, O oh God, and you shall get glory and honor, majesty and wonder, O oh God, unto our Lord, unto our King, forever and ever, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you for you have set deliverance in each and every one of our homes. Deliverance, O oh God, in our families, in the name of deliverance in our neighborhood, deliverance in our education arena, O oh God, in the name of Jesus, amongst the children. We come against every spirit of suicide, oppression, depression, O oh God. Every spirit, O oh God, that would try to combat against the children's self-esteem. We bind and rebuke it. We cast it out in the name of Jesus. We come against every spirit of ADD and ADHD, O oh God. Every anxiety, O oh God, and every fear, O oh God, in the name of everything that is trying to block our children to becoming who you have called them to be. We rebuke it and we command those spirits to come out of them in the name of Jesus. Father, we command every unclean spirit that is in us, O oh God, to come out of us in the name of Jesus. Every spirit that would hide, every strong man, we command it to loose us in the name of Jesus and loose our children in the name, loose our situation, loose our circumstances in the name of Jesus. We command these spirits to come up and out. So you said it in your word in Mark 16 and 7. That because we believe we would cast out devils, we would speak with new tongues, we would take up serpents, and if we drink or eat any deadly thing, it would not harm us, oh God. So we thank you, Lord, for healing, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Healing in the body and healing in the mind, oh God, in the name of Jesus. For everything that we have eaten, oh God, that has been defiled, that has been preyed on by witches and warlocks, it shall not harm us in the name of Jesus. Every pesticide and herbicide that is added, oh God, to our food in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, everything that is airborne that's being released, oh God. We thank you, Lord, for it shall not harm us in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Father, for sickness and disease, oh God. It shall be far from us in the name of Jesus. So we thank you, Lord, that you have anointed us, oh God. For the Spirit of the Lord, it is upon us. and You have anointed us to preach this tidings even unto the meek. You have anointed us on this day, O God, to open up our mouths, Lord, and begin to speak your word and to begin to believe your word, begin to declare your word. And so surely as we declare and so surely as we speak and decree your word, surely it shall come to pass in the name of Jesus. Surely it shall manifest, O God, in our bodies, in our life, in the name of Jesus. So you said this in your word. If my people whom are called by my name, if they would humble themselves, and pray then would you hear from heaven and even as we have turned away from our wicked ways oh god you would hear us oh god and that you would heal our lands in the name of jesus so we thank you lord that you're healing all of our lands all of our possessions oh god this very body and this very temple oh god we thank you the very places oh god we walk and tread on we thank you the cities and the neighborhoods we thank you the nations oh god you are healing in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you as we tap into the treasuries of heaven, oh God. We come against every inflation, oh God, every economic disaster. We speak your word and your way into situations, into the economy in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, that your people shall dwell in Goshen in the name of Jesus. We thank you for an overflow and an abundance. We thank you for safety in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord. That yea, though we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, it's only a shadow. But your rod and your staff, they comfort us. So we thank you, Lord, that you shall deliver us from every valley, O oh God. Out of every wilderness, O oh God. Even you shall cause us to scale the mountains. For you said you would give us hind feet. 
that we would not fall, that we would not fail, oh God, in the name of Jesus. So we thank you, Lord, that as there is no failure in you, oh God, there is no failure in us, oh God. So we thank you, Father, for the victory time and time again. We thank you for victory in every assignment, oh God, that you have given to us in the name of Jesus. And we recognize, Lord, your pureness and your holiness and your divinity, oh God. We recognize that you are the master of the universe. We recognize, oh God, that you are the creator. So Father, as we speak unto you, our holy God, we shall be holy. We shall be righteous, oh God, for you have called us to be holy as you are holy, oh God, so help us, Lord. And the little way that we do, oh God, for you said it in your word, a little leaven leavens the whole lump, oh God. So we pray, Lord, where there's any leaven in our life, oh God, that you would remove it in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, that we will be sensitive to your spirit, oh God, and that we move and that we would breathe by every word that proceeds out of your mouth in the name of Jesus. So, Father, I thank you, Lord, that we will not be too hasty, never be too quick, O oh God, but in all things, in prayer and in supplication, God, that we will never be too slow, O oh God, that we will move in the Kairos time of life and that we will move appropriately in the Kronos time of life in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Father, for all things, O oh God. Surely it shall work together for our good because we love you. And we're called according to your purpose. We're even called by your name. You have a thought. You have a plan about each and every one of us, Lord. So we thank you, Lord, that your thoughts and plans, they shall be revealed to us in the name of Jesus. As we wait in your presence, O oh God, as we get in your glory, O oh God, as we get into times of prayer, O oh God, it shall produce, O oh God. It shall produce fruit, O oh God. It shall produce dreams and dreams and visions. It shall produce, O oh God, fruit. It shall produce the gifts, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. So, Father, by faith, O oh God, we take the promise. We take the vision. We take the leading and the unction of the Holy Spirit. And we walk, O oh God into our destinies and purposes. We walk, oh God, into our assignments, oh God, knowing, oh God, that you shall give us the tool, you shall give us the word, you shall give us the provision, oh God, in the name of Jesus. And we pray, Father, everywhere, oh God, where we are a pro, that you would put the vision together and cause provision to come out of that, oh God, in abundance, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray for those, O oh God, those who would mourn, O oh God. We pray, Father, for joy. Those who are lost, O oh God, and out of touch, we pray for a reconnection, Lord. Those who are a prodigal son and daughter, O oh God, we pray for a coming back, O oh God, of the backslider. We pray for a returning of hearts of the children back to the Father in the name of Jesus. We pray for those, O oh God, with drug addiction and other addictions, oh God, pornography addictions, oh God. All type of addictions, Lord. We pray, Lord, for a breaker's anointing to break every addiction and every chain, oh God, where the enemy has us, has your children locked up and in chains, oh God. We thank you, Lord, for a breaker's anointing, oh God, that chains would fall off of us, fall off of our family, fall off of our neighbors and their family and their children, oh God, and their children's children. In the name of Jesus, we pray, Lord, breakthrough, Lord, deliverance, liberty, O oh God, in Christ Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we ask, O oh God, for every strong delusion, every false doctrine, O oh God, we expose it to the light and to the blood, O oh God. But I thank you, Lord, that the real, that the truth, that the people of God will begin to arise, that they will begin to come forth, O oh God, and that the very word that they teach it shall be from heaven. It shall be manna, O oh God. And we shall love the manna and we shall eat thereof of it. And we shall grow in wisdom. We shall grow in stature. We shall multiply, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. So I speak this on today, Lord, a multiplication, Lord, in this room, in the restoration house. I speak a multiplication, O oh God, amongst us in the name of Jesus. 
I speak multiplying, oh God, amongst the ecclesia in the name of Jesus, for surely we shall be added to daily. We shall increase in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord, for every ministry in India and Sri Lanka. Pastor Jess, Pastor Najess, oh God, as they stand in proxy of. We thank you, Lord, that you would bless them in the name of Jesus and that you would cause fear not to rule. But Father, I pray for an increase of faith of the supernatural God in the name of Jesus. I pray, Lord, that you would awake them and arise them, O oh God, to your power, to your might, to your ability, to your presence, O oh God, in Jesus' name. We pray, amen and amen. And this is 6 a.m. IST prayer with the Restoration House, where we pray on behalf of one another, our communities and our neighborhoods, and our family and our nations. we like to welcome each and every one of you, and even those who will listen afterwards. This is the time if you have a prayer request, you can raise your hand. If you have a prayer point, a testimony, or if you have a word of the Lord, you can raise your hand and we will bring you up. Amen. Also, if you can't come up at the moment, you can drop it in the chat or you can send it to us via the back channel. And we will lift your prayer request up. We will read your testimony as well. Amen. Hallelujah. And as we are in his presence and just the stillness of the Lord, we thank God for all that he is and who he is to us. He is wonderful. He is magnificent. He is mighty. And we give him just a forever worship and praise. Also, let me also tell you, be mindful that you can hit that link at the top, the Get In Touch link, and you can leave your prayer request, or you can join the team if you feel so led. You also can plant a seed. Also, please just go on our website and just read where we updated some things. Also, you can um, fill out the registry for your ministry as well. So we will have that on the register. And let's be mindful, we are still in our days of fasting, even until the 13th. So we pray that this time of fasting has been a time where you have been quiet and postured to hear from the Lord. And we know our Father, he is ever speaking. So I pray that anywhere where your ears are stuck or your eyes are distracted, that they will be unstuck and that your eyes will see in the name of Jesus. So we thank God for every dream and every vision, every prophetic word that he is speaking to us from others and even to us directly, even by his word. For there's so many ways that he shall speak to us. And we open up to every way, oh God, that you would want to speak. For your servants, we hear and we listen. In Jesus' name, amen. Seeing there is no prayer request, and our mandate is to pray for one hour. We will bring the room to a close. But before we close, I want to speak a blessing over you. And it comes from number six. Verses 24 through 26, it says, The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and may he give you peace. We thank God for being gracious to each and every one of us and gracious to our family and gracious to our neighbors, gracious to our communities, our cities, our nation. We thank you, Lord, for a graciousness, oh God, that you release upon us today and forevermore. Thank you, Lord. We praise you. The next prayer time is 6 a.m. GMT. And then after that is 6 a.m. EST. And if we don't see you in those times, then by God's grace, we'll see you tomorrow at 6 a.m. IST prayer. And the room is closing in five, four, three, two, and one. Catch you in another time zone.